Hello. Hi. This is a video regarding wild hair growth oil. I'm going to be talking about the difference between the two. And I'm sure you guys have seen both of these bottles before. I am just here to tell you that I am not here because I am not being endorsed, nor am I in any way being paid to talk about these two products. I wish I was, but I'm not. However, the difference between the two, this one, the white bottle, the wild hair growth oil or wild growth hair oil um, is actually is scented and it doesn't smell quite nice. This one on the other hand has a, it says colorless and I guess it's supposed to be odorless. It does have a light scent. It is um, not quite as bad as this one though. However, I like both of them. Um, I will say that this one is a lot thicker, so if you're planning on using this particular one, I usually use it, I would say, maybe the day prior to me washing my hair uh, when I know that I'm not going to be going out. I don't want to be smelling like, a, well, my hair is stinking or with a stinky head. Um, this one, on the other hand, you can use usually daily or every other day. Um, it's light, um, and like I said, um, is, is not nearly as funky as this one. Um, in the ingredients, there are um, quite a few things. It looks like they both, they both have very similar um, ingredients. Uh, it has olive oil, coconut oil, um, and a couple of other things. I don't know if you can zoom in on it, but um, they're very similar and you can purchase them at your local beauty supply store. Um, Sally's also have it, and I'll turn it around here. You can see this particular bottle I purchased from the local beauty supply store, it was $7.99. This one also is usually $7.99. I may have gotten this one from Sally's because I purchased them at two different times just to try them out. Uh, but anyhow, I did wanna show you my hair. I did wash my hair today. I'm gonna pull it back in a ponytail just so that you can kinda quickly look at my length. I've been using it for two months and I actually have used it like a hot oil treatment where I just uh, would go through and saturate my scalp with the oil and then I would put a cap on and I would get underneath the hair dryer for about 10 to 15 minutes. But as you can see, I did wash my hair today and this is my hair length so far. I usually pull mine up in a ponytail. I know other people like to pull their hair straight down and they measure. Uh, me on the other hand, I like to do mine up in a ponytail because for me that's just easier for me to get an idea of what my hair growth looks like. So I'll turn around so you can see the back and that's how it looks. Well, you can see that good. Um, but I've been using it for probably about two months now. And I think that I've probably had at least anywhere from three to four inches worth of growth. So I have to say, I really do like it. It, it does what it says that it's going to do. I'll comb it back down so you can look at the back if you just wanna do a quick length check of the back. And what I'll do is later post some pictures of my hair before. I didn't have time to do that, but I'll turn around and let you see what the back looks like. And like I said, I'll later show you some pictures of my hair prior to uh, when I first started using them and you can see the difference in it. Uh, like I said, that was probably about two months ago. But anyhow, if you have any questions, just leave any questions that you have and I'll try to answer all of them. Um, this was my first YouTube video, so um, I don't have a whole lot to say, but I guess maybe the next video will be a lot better. But anyway, thanks for watching. You guys have a great night.